Welcome back. Today we are going to compare the brand new 6.8 Western to the 270 Weatherby. Please like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and start with the 270 Weatherby. Roy Weatherby in 1944 produced this. It is based off the 300 H&H Magnum case like almost all Weatherby cartridges are. Uh, this case is the same size, it shares it with the 257 Weatherby and the 7mm Weatherby. It is a bit shorter than the 300 Weatherby and the 340 Weatherby, uh, but uh, it's still got plenty of buggy, okay? Uh, speaking of that, let's go ahead and look at the numbers. Okay, 130 grain bullet, super popular, at least in the 270 Winchester. And this is kind of short it. 3,200 feet per second. I know it will go at least 33. And I believe Weatherby sells ammo that will go 3,400. So, uh, And it kind of brings up something I wanted to talk about. These reloading books are not the end-all, be-all with velocity numbers. You might find quite different numbers with you experimenting or with different reloading books. So just keep that in mind, that a lot of these are different than they really are. For example, the 7mm Remington Ultra Mag in the Hornaday book and even in the Nosler book, they're kind of short selling it. You're definitely going to get better velocities. So Sorry, I'm going to get off my soapbox, but just know it's all relative. Okay, Let's go ahead and look at the 145 grain, 3100 feet per second. Again. I think you can get 32 or 33 out of that. And then the biggest bullet they offer for Hornaday is 150. And they're saying 3,000 feet per second, but again, you could get it faster. Well over 31. So, if you're a fan of a 270 caliber and want a little more oomph than the 270 Winchester, this is definitely one you should take a look at. Let's go ahead now and look at the brand new 6.8 Western. Winchester and Browning co-developed this cartridge. It is a basically a 270 WSM with a different shoulder and the ability to seat out the bullet farther, so a longer chamber. Uh, the whole purpose for Winchester and Browning doing this is to have a 270 caliber gun that can really excel at long distance shooting. So what's the huge difference between this and a 270 WSM? Uh, they're pretty close with one exception. The rifles in 6.8 Western have a 1 in 8, at least a 1 in 8 twist rate. So what that does is it lets the gun be able to shoot a much longer higher BC, heavier bullet. Um, if you notice in the 270 Weatherby, the, the highest bullet you could shoot out of that with Hornaday was 150 grain. In a 6.8 Western, you can shoot up to 175 grain, which has a crazy BC. So that's really the difference between the two. Uh, the 270 Weatherby is actually a little bit faster, but the 6.8 Western is able to shoot those bigger, longer bullets. And so it is going to be a much better long distance gun than the 270. Another advantage that the 6.8 Western has is that it's a short Magnum. So that casing is the same casing length as basically a 308 casing. So it can fit in a short action, which means that your rifle can weigh less. So it's going to have a shorter barrel with still magnum performance, and it would be an ideal hiking gun. So with the 270 Weathery, it has that standard action length, and so it's going to have a longer barrel. It's overall just going to be a longer gun, which puts more weight onto it. So yes, uh, this does give you the possibility for a lighter gun. I'd like to show you the reloading numbers. So what feet per second you're going to get. I know it's very similar to the 270 WSM, uh, a little bit faster. 
Unfortunately, I have not been able to find any reloading data on the 6.8 Western. So if you guys know of it anywhere, please leave a comment below. Uh, it'd be great to see what the reloading data says. So I'm just going to be going off of what articles I've read about it. So I don't have a bunch of the numbers for reloading, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and look at the, a ballistic chart for the 270 Weatherby. The biggest bullet I could find to compare to the 6.8 Western is 160 grain partition. Uh, its BC is not very good. Again, the 270 Weatherby and most of the other 270 calibers were never meant to shoot these bigger bullets. And so, uh, because they're all, almost all of them have a 1 in 10 twist except for the 27 Nosler and obviously the 6.8 Western. But let's go ahead and look at the velocity. So out of the muzzle, 160 grain nozzle partition is going 3,100 feet per second, which is pretty darn fast. Your energy, 3,400 foot-pounds. That's more than the 7mm rem mag, the 30-06. It's, it's really high. Uh, going down out to 400 yards, uh, you're still having 1,829 foot-pounds of energy. So definitely plenty for elk, deer, moose. Uh, it's good. The drop, uh, not a lot of drop. I mean, that's what the 270 is known for, is it's a flat shooting cartridge. And it is. So, as you can see, the 270 Weatherby is a great hunting cartridge. Looking at the 6.8 Western in its ballistic chart, we are going to use 165 grain Nosler Acubon long range, which gives us a BC of 0.620 really high BC. Out of the muzzle, that velocity is still really good at 2970. And then the energy, while it's definitely lower than the Weatherby, it will catch up to it when we look down, say, 300 to 400 yards. So that energy is roughly about the same as a 7mm Remington mag and a 30-06. So this is where the advantages come in, though, with a higher BC bullet. Down out to 400 yards, if you remember that 270 Weatherby, only had 1,800 foot-pounds of energy. With the 6.8 Western, it's almost 2,100. Uh, the drop is basically identical, uh, with a little bit of an advantage to 400 for the 270 Weatherby, just because it's going a little bit faster. But, yeah, there it is. This is what the 6.8 Western was made for was long distance shooting. In summary, if you're looking for a hunting rifle that also is a good long range rifle, look at that 6.8 Western. It seems like it's gonna be a pretty good one. However, if you don't really care about long range and you just want a 270 hunting rifle, look at the 270 Weatherby or any of the other 270s for that matter. If I had to pick a 270, I would pick probably the 270 Weatherby or the 270 Winchester. Uh, right now it's much easier to find ammo for those two. Uh, I haven't even seen 6.8 Western on the shelves at all. So I do worry about the 6.8 Western coming out in 2021 with the, all the crazy pandemic stuff. But uh, it seems to be a decent caliber in cartridge. So it's really up to what you want. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. Have a great day.